And now to our other big story, the fire in the gorge. The weather this afternoon will test firefighters battling the Eagle Creek fire. It's just 11% contained. The KGW team is monitoring this fire closely. Rod is tracking the temperatures and the winds that could cause some trouble this afternoon. But first, we start with Tim Gordon. He is live where a Red Cross shelter is moving today. Tim. Right, Brenda, and that would be this nice gymnasium here at this new church in Troutdale called the Harvest Christian Church. The Red Cross moving in here from where it's been at Mount Hood Community College, and everyone hopes evacuees won't be here too long. It's yet another test for the Eagle Creek Fire. What firefighters are hoping is possibly the last low humidity, 80 plus degree day. The wildfire will probably flare up this afternoon. Now at 35,500 acres, fire bosses explain the 11% containment is just one measure. There are a lot more fire lines built, but untested. And the prospect of fall weather makes them feel even better. The rain would be great. We'd be happy to have it, uh, but in the meantime, we're just happy to have uh, cooler, moister air come in. So this afternoon is the big one. We, we got to get through this, and then I'll, I'll be feeling really good if, if things work out well tonight. At community meetings last night, people forced to evacuate learned they could be back home in just a couple days. Very welcome news, but for now, the need for shelter remains. Like everyone else, the Red Cross hopes the displaced can be home soon. It's not ideal to be away from home. We understand that, but we want to make sure that if you do have to be away from home for your safety, that you have a safe and comfortable place to be. In the meantime, about 900 firefighters will continue to do all they can to douse the Eagle Creek fire. Yeah, so in the meantime, this is going to be the space for shelter here in Troutdale. A couple more days is as specific as they'll be at this point. Maybe after today, they can set an actual date for people to return to their homes. Also, I-84 still shut down. ODOT says westbound lanes should open later this week and then eventually the eastbound lanes too. Brenda, back to you. All right. Thank you, Tim.